Sunday was a whole different day than Saturday. Um, because Sunday was the day of something to wrestle with Bruce Pritchard, a special guest, Jim Cornette. We would, the mega powers of podcasting is the way that they, they sold this, this gig at, at St. Andrew's hall, which is a beautiful venue. It looked like a church at first. I w- and it, like one of those old Gothic churches from the turn of the last century. I was afraid I was going to burst into flames when I went through the front door. But it's just, it's a beautiful building and it's a music concert venue and they've got a balcony. It was kind of Paradise Alley ish in there, but with the bar and they had cool, you know, it was, it was very, very nice, nice neighborhood. Um, great fans. We, we did a meet and greets before and afterwards for the VIPs first and everybody afterwards, but to make sure that everybody got the pictures and the, the uh, uh, autographs and everything. And, and uh, we were, uh, as, uh, as a matter of fact, sold out. Thank you very much. Um, so it was it was great, and I I enjoyed both the fan fest before the incident and this day because I was getting to meet a bunch of people for the first time. I'm never in Detroit, never in the area. First time since Ring of Honor in like 2011, right? And before that, it had been quite a while. So I, I I've known some people from Twitter and the internet or whatever, but I got to meet some of those folks and. And, um, and, and then we did the show and I thought the show was, was moving along quite well at the beginning, but I, I, there was actually, there's a news story that, that came out. I think you have that news story in front of you that came out from the, before I give my (laughs) impressions yeah. Of of show and what everybody told me they thought of it. Why don't you read the news? Cause I've made news twice in a row in the same city. Mr. Irrelevant here, but they can't keep me out of the spotlight. Right. Uh, This broke yesterday, which was the day after it happened. So I was surprised when all of a sudden it's like, oh, come on. No way. Uh, But this is from the Pro Wrestling Sheet website posted by Ryan Satin. The headline, Jim Cornette flashes penis to the crowd during Bruce Prichard live show. Anything could happen at one of Bruce Prichard's live shows, including Jim Cornette flashing his penis. It all went down at St. Andrew's Hall when Cornette saw a cardboard Vince Russo head, which would normally be used for impressions, and threw it on the ground to mimic urinating on the cutout. Jim Jim then pulled his track pants down and flashed his bait and tackle for a brief second. The flashing was confirmed by multiple people on Twitter, and one of them said, Could have done without seeing Corny's penis, but otherwise, a great show! Gives new meaning to Jim Cornette waving his racket around. <laughs> it's penis gate. Penis gate. <laughs> penis gate. Oh my God. I don't, one of the headlines, uh, somebody picked it up from there. Cause Ryan Satin was at the show apparently. Uh, but somebody picked it up and the headline was Cornette exposes genitals at live event. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Miley Cyrus. Oh my God. Yeah. I, I, see, the thing is, my knees are too bad. I couldn't twerk. So I had to do something. But no, here's what, it, like I said, it was a great crowd. And I see these, these cardboard face fan things that uh, you hold up in front of your face that Bruce has. And I turn one of them over and it's fucking Russo. And it's his bloated, jowl, jaundiced fucking features. And it just, it was, tur- we were having such a good time already. It's about 10 minutes in the show. And I, I didn't want it to turn my mood. So I start to get up and people see it. And Bruce didn't want me to tear it up. I guess he wanted to use it somewhere else. So I th- threw it down on the front of the stage and I grabbed my t-shirt bottom with my right hand. And I put my thumb in the top of my sweatpants and I was just going to do the motion. But I think I may have, I may have gone farther south with it than I may have intended. And they may have gotten a glimpse of, of Mr. Johnson and the twins. Um, <laughs> but it was, they roared huge fucking pop. And, you know, and we, we go on, it was, you know, a great fucking show and everybody's fucking laughing. We finish the last person out the door. Everybody's happy. And I'm thinking, well, at least I redeemed myself publicly by having a wonderful time here with everybody and just raving about it. And it, it made me feel better than having to leave on a down note like the fucking abortion I was in the Saturday. And I look on the Internet the next day. Cornette exposes genitals and laughing. <laughs> You know, it's funny. At the beginning of the year, Jim, when you said um, that you didn't plan on leaving the house much this year, if you had told me, you know, Jim's going to end up WrestleMania weekend at the Hall of Fame, I would have said, you know, he doesn't plan on leaving, but I could see that happening. And if you told me that Jeff Jarrett's going to call and convince Jim to come to Orlando, I would say, you know what? 
I could see that happening. Now, if you had told me you were going to do the dick spot, <laughs> I would have said, no way. <laughs> well, but at least, see, I didn't throw anybody with mine. I just, I basically gave a, a visual illustration for the hard of hearing of what the fuck that I think about the fucking guy who was pictured <laughs> oh, no, no, on the. <laughs> for those of you hard of hearing. Yes. At least, yeah, here, here's what I think of the fucking Vince Russo. And I, you can look at my dick instead of his face and you'll be happier and better off in your fucking life.